Do we really need to get our wisdom teeth pulled? Hundreds of thousands of years ago, the first humans needed their wisdom teeth for normal chewing. Our prehistoric ancestors' diet consisted of roots, nuts, raw meat, and leaves. Unfortunately, they didn't have fancy knives or silverware to cut such tough foods, so wisdom teeth were vital for their survival. Our diet and eating habits have changed a lot since then, but we still have these teeth. They usually come out between the ages of 12 to 25, and during this period, some doctors recommend having them removed. But is it really necessary? Brightside has looked into different opinions on this issue. When you don't need to have your wisdom teeth pulled. They're healthy with no tooth decay or inflammation in the gums around them. The teeth have grown in fully. They stand straight and align perfectly with their top or bottom counterparts. They don't interfere with the normal functioning of neighboring teeth. This means that your mouth is big enough to accommodate all four of your wisdom teeth. They're easy to clean during daily oral hygiene practices. They're straight and not at an angle to their neighbors, which can create hard-to-reach places for bacteria to grow. When you need to get your wisdom teeth extracted, they're completely hidden under the gums and can't erupt through the surface. In this case, they can damage your jaw or lead to the formation of fluid-filled cysts around the tooth. If this isn't dealt with in time, your jaw might hollow out. It'll also cause severe damage to the nerves. Plus, a cyst can destroy the roots of neighboring teeth. The teeth didn't fully come in. The problem here is that food can get stuck in nooks and crannies, resulting in difficulties with oral hygiene. Poor oral hygiene can cause a large buildup of bacteria, which can lead to even more problems like oral cavity diseases. If there isn't enough space in the mouth and all adjacent teeth are already snug as it is, the erupting wisdom tooth brings the risk of damaging the nearby teeth. In this case, it'll cause pain in your whole mouth and problems with chewing. Are you ready to switch to a liquid diet? Yeah, we didn't think so. If you feel pain in the area around a wisdom tooth, see your dentist. Something definitely has to be done. Soft tissues near the wisdom tooth are often infected. Tumors have formed. They can appear around impacted wisdom teeth, which are trapped between the gums and the jawbone. There's inflammation in the gums. This will make it hard to keep your teeth clean. Also, swollen gums are often responsible for pockets forming between teeth, where bacteria are happy to grow and create cavities in your pearly whites. There's tooth decay on neighboring teeth, and they begin to break. You have pain in your jaw, or it's difficult to open and close your mouth. There's nothing wrong with keeping your wisdom teeth if you regularly visit a dentist and get x-rays of your jaw. In this case, you can learn about a potential problem, like improper wisdom tooth growth. If you catch it early on, you can have surgery to remove the tooth without any complications. Doctors recommending doing this ASAP. Also, most dentists agree that the younger you are when you have your wisdom teeth removed, the better. After you turn 25, all the bone tissues have formed completely. This means that the teeth are more difficult to remove and the surrounding tissues heal more slowly. So, if you decide that you'd prefer to prevent any potential problems and agree to get the surgery, you have nothing to worry about. This operation usually takes a little over half an hour. You won't feel any pain, and there are several types of anesthesia your doctor will offer you to choose from. So, you'll probably just sleep soundly through the whole surgery. In some cases, the doctor cuts the gum or even the bone to get to the impacted tooth. If so, they'll stitch up the wound after removing the tooth. But don't sweat it because they usually use self-dissolving stitches that will disappear in a couple of days. You'll feel no or very little pain after the procedure. The site of the operation will be swollen for several days, but in a few weeks, your mouth will heal completely. What to do after the surgery? Gently hold an ice pack on your cheek to reduce swelling. Exercise the jaw by opening and closing your mouth. No rush here, do it slowly and carefully. Eat soft foods like soup, pasta, mashed potatoes, and so on. Drink lots of liquids. Start brushing your teeth only the next day after the surgery. Do it very delicately. If your doctor has sent you home with any painkillers or anti-inflammatories, remember to take them as prescribed. If you feel severe pain, have bad swelling, or are fevered, don't put off calling your doctor. What not to do after the surgery? Do not smoke. This will noticeably slow down the healing process. 
Do not be too active and harsh while rinsing your mouth. Using salt water may help with healing. Do not eat sticky or hard food. It can disturb or scratch your wound. Do not drink through a straw. The sucking can loosen blood clots that help the wound heal. If you follow these rules, your recovery will be fast and uncomplicated. By the way, did you know that 35% of people are born without wisdom teeth? So lucky! This is especially typical from those from East Asia. Wisdom teeth are the only teeth that aren't formed in the womb. In 2008, Japanese researchers discovered that wisdom teeth can be a source of stem cells, so you'd better not throw them away just in case. After you've had your wisdom teeth removed, the best post-op diet for you is milkshakes and ice cream. These foods are soft and cold, which is good because it soothes the pain. Not to mention, these tasty delights provide some moral support during your suffering. Have you had any of your wisdom teeth removed? How did it go? Tell us your stories in the comments section. Share this video with your friends if you care about their oral health. And if the information in it was useful to you, remember to give us a like. Subscribe to our channel and you'll find a lot of amazing stuff on the bright side of life.